Hey boys and girls, it's Dave again. Um, in this video, uh, I kind of wanted to go over the care and feeding of your atomizers. Uh, cartridges and the whatever filling, uh, polyfill or uh, you know your tea bag mod or whatever you have inside of here. Um, basically I wanted to talk about uh, you know what happens you know how do you clean it what happens when you get that burnt taste uh, how do you refill it um, and you know basically care for your atomizer um, so that it will it'll last you for you know three to four months at a time um, you know uh, let's talk about the burnt taste that you get in your mouth um, well, <clears throat> first let me talk about um, what happens when you get that, that bubbly sound uh, out of your um, put this thing together here get that bubbly sound when you inhale it it kind of goes blah 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 okay, anyway um, what that is is uh, basically uh, you have gotten some of the juice down inside uh, further down deeper than the heating element of your atomizer so you basically just take it apart like I have and gently blow out the battery side here and it should uh, then clear up the problem another way to um, uh, oh and the 510 atomizer um, is in my opinion very prone to flooding um, so it will at times do that uh, it will bubble on you it will also if you're you know in a in the middle of uh, vaping on it and all of a sudden you get a hit that's just not the consistent um, basically I just take it and I tap it gently on my palm or my leg like so and I go again and uh, vapor is restored so um, care and uh, of the atomizer basically would be cleaning it uh, making sure that you're not flooding it constantly um, you can get a, uh, a glass of hot water like I have here basically just a, <laughs> a ball jar, mason jar, whatever and just drop it right in. I let it sit there for about 10 minutes okay so like I said 10 or 15 minutes later uh, now you have this nice clean uh, very hot use a fork or something to fish it out uh, it will be hot you basically just leave it sit battery side up like so on the desk okay just leave it sit there uh, you know 8 12 hours whatever um, you should have more than one atomizer you know every e-sig user knows that um, they want more than one atomizer uh, you know in their arsenal in case one of these dies or you have to clean it so you leave it sit there 8 to 12 hours let it dry out real good uh, uh, the hot water by the way will um, dissipate all the uh, will melt basically the VG liquefy it and it will just come right out of the the, uh, the atomizer so after you've let it dry um, you stick it back on your battery and you get some regular clear VG and you drop it okay one two all right for those of you who can't count all right so you do what's called tail piping um, some people call it different things I call it tailpiping because it looks like a friggin tailpipe alright 
suck on it a little bit. Get that VG heated up in there. All right, a couple more drops right on her. And start all over, okay? If you get the bubbly sound while you're doing that, just tap it, okay? A little bit, very gently. All right, when it gets too hot to really put up to your lips comfortably, um, it's too much. Just let it let it sit and rest for a minute. All right, and then uh, repeat the process. You know, about two or three minutes later, um, and uh, repeat that probably three, four times. Then you should be good to go. You can take your new cartridge. Okay, uh, once you've burnt the uh, the tea bag mod inside or whatever filling you had you basically want to fish it out and throw it away okay and start over with a new tea bag so you redo your tea bag mod you'll get very used to doing them so you can do them quite quickly um, all right so I want to make sure that my juice is filled in my new cartridge okay some people say throw the cartridge away too eh, I throw it in the hot water you know let it sit there uh, the same as the atomizer and uh, with no uh, you know filling no polyfill or tea bag or anything like that and uh, it you know it's fine stick that back on nice very nice taste is restored um, another trick about these atomizers is that um, I mentioned in my other video how you could screw on your cone and put your lips right up to the crease and it will make a better vape what I have also noticed that makes a better vape is to once you've tightened your atomizer in place unscrew it a little bit so you can see a slight crack in the atomizer or between the battery and the atomizer um, that slight crack will also increase uh, airflow and give you a better uh, hit Really nice. So uh, that is basic care and feeding of your atomizers, your cartridges. Um, a little, some tips on you know how to vape better. Um, you know, take it for what it is. That's just by my experience. Thanks for watching.